a lot of the work that I do is around how when we slow down, we optimize our brain for creativity and productivity. And I would just love to hear, like in your personal life, how do you think about slowing down? How do you think about kind of not always working? I think when you're a creative person, there's that tendency to just work, work, work and think about work and all these other things. But I imagine you have some habits that we could learn from that um, help you slow down. And we just love to hear how do you frame that out in regards to your, your work-life balance? Well, first of all, get a puppy. <laughs> so uh, uh, one of the things, uh, we've always had a dog. Uh, and we, uh, we lost a dog a year and a half ago. I can't live without a dog. Uh, and so we got a puppy. And... Uh, it's the most energetic, playful Welsh corgi you've ever seen. So one of the ways of slowing down is getting a puppy and having to walk your puppy every day, having to train your puppy, having to play games with your puppy. So, you know, I think, and I'm, yeah, I'm being a little facetious here, but you have to, um, first of all, really, really value, um, your body, not just your brain, but your whole body. And uh, John and I devote at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half uh, to staying healthy and fit every day. Uh, and that is really important uh, in giving your mind a chance to just breathe a little bit uh, and oxygenating your mind too <laughs> a little better. Um, another thing is going into nature. Um, I, I cannot survive without wilderness. I have to have wilderness around me. That's how we ended up on work to someone. Uh, so taking yourself outside, even if it's in a city, um, is fine, but get outside uh, take yourself away from the screen. I know that this last year has been a, a great hardship for all of you guys, uh, as it has for everybody. And um, one of the things that's just crucial when you're doing Zoom meeting after Zoom meeting or whatever it is, is taking a break and going outside and looking at the sun, looking at the sky, looking at the ground, the earth, sometimes uh, if it's dry, I'll lie down on the earth uh, just, to, just to feel the energy of the earth and soak it into my body and soul. Um, if you have a partner or a puppy or a cat or any bunny rabbit or anything, cuddle, 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 cuddle. Um, remember, we're talking about love with our couples, but it really helps to receive love as a therapist also. <laughs> so let yourself soak up love, even from a tree outside, um, as much as possible, because we all need it, right?